Hi there, welcome back to eMotors Direct Channel. I'm your host, Keith. Today, we're covering electric motor bearing lubrication, what it's for, how to choose the correct grease, and how often to grease your motor. This video is for industrial maintenance technicians or anyone looking to keep their electric motor bearings properly maintained and running for a long time. Quick safety note, it's always a good idea to wear safety glasses and steel toes when working with motors. And most importantly, I have the power supply shut off while I'm working on the motor. Understanding the purpose of the lubricant in your electric motor bearings will help you see the importance of regular preventative maintenance, ensuring your motor performs well for a long time. In fact, bearing failure is the number one cause of motor failure. The purpose of lubricants in general is to support sliding loads. Lubricant or grease helps to reduce friction and wear, seal against contaminants, disperse heat, and prohibit rust and corrosion. Plus, when elements run smoother, the amount of energy needed to do the work is reduced helping you to save on energy costs. There are many types of lubricants that can be used with electric motors and selecting the correct one is important. Greases are made up of viscous oil that is either mineral or synthetic based and has been mixed with a thickening agent. The most common types of grease used for electric motors have a base oil viscosity of 100 cetostokes and a thickening complex made of polyurea or lithium. We typically see manufacturers using Polyrex EM by mobile. You should consult the motor's manual to confirm the recommended amount of grease suggested by the manufacturer. You can find your motor manual at emotorsdirect.ca. First, find your product by typing in your catalog number found on the motor nameplate. Once on the product page, click Downloads, and you'll see the manual, data package, feature sheet, and warranty policy. You should also keep note of your load and operating temperature when selecting the lubrication grade. This is important. Make sure you don't mix different types of grease. Mixing grease types, manufacturers, weights, and additives will lead to the same issue as other types of contamination. The grease will have a short life as will the bearings. How you store your electric motor lubricants is just as important as selecting the correct viscosity and grade. You don't want to contaminate your grease before it even gets into your bearings to do its job. Store your grease in a clean, dry, and temperature controlled area. If the grease gets too hot or too cold, it can break down in the holding container. Your grease gun should only be used with one specific type of grease to avoid cross-contamination and store it in a clean, dry, and temperature controlled area as well. Since maintaining your bearings by greasing them is so important, how often should it be done? The manufacturer of the motor and the manufacturer of the bearing will have a specific recommended greasing schedule. The intervals between greasing will be specific to the motor load, runtime, and ambient temperature. Common intervals are every month, quarter, or year. Make sure you understand how your electric motor is running and where, so you can keep an optimal greasing schedule. As mentioned, the manufacturers may also specify how much grease to use. However, the amount of grease also depends on how often the motor runs, what environment it'll be in, and the bearing size. If your motor is running all day, every day, you're going to want to grease it more frequently versus a motor that only runs a few times a week. As well, a motor in a dusty environment like an aggregate pit will need to be greased more than a motor in a clean manufacturing facility. Overgreasing can cause just as many issues as undergreasing. Too little grease leads to higher friction and heat, causing the lubrication to break down and the bearings to wear prematurely. Too much grease leads to internal bearing pressure that also causes higher friction and heat. This can also damage seals, causing the grease to migrate into the motor windings and allowing space for contamination to enter the bearing. The grease gun you use will need to be calibrated by how many grams each shot is to deliver the exact amount of grease needed. Now that we know why you need electric motor lubrication, we know how to select the correct one and when and how much to deliver, we can walk through the step-by-step -step process of greasing your motor. Remove any covers to get to the greasing locations. There are usually two grease zerks on an electric motor, one on the drive end and one on the non-drive end. The grease fittings are often at the top or slightly to the side of the motor. Remove any grease zerk caps and the purge valve cover. The caps help keep contaminants off the grease zerks for easy cleaning, and the purge valve allows grease to escape in case there is a pressure buildup. Clean the grease fittings and the grease gun to avoid adding contaminants to the grease. Dispense one shot of grease from the gun to ensure it's clean and working properly. Apply grease gun to grease fitting and dispense the recommended amount. If you see grease coming out of the purge valve, 
stop adding any more grease to avoid overfilling issues. Clean the grease fittings and any grease around the workstation. Replace the purge valve cover, any greaser caps, and any other components you have removed. Now we're done greasing the motor. There's newer technology that helps keep precise track of how often you need to grease your motor and how much. Ultrasound or sonic technology allows you to monitor your grease levels and quality with precision. The ultrasound technology allows you to perform maintenance based on conditions rather than based on the calendar, which helps you to avoid over or under greasing situations more easily. This technology listens to the bearings to the monitor the friction level. When grease is needed, it is slowly introduced into the system until the ideal sound is detected. However, an estimation will suffice for most applications, and it's most important to have a consistent greasing schedule. And the final topic I'd like to talk about today is, does every single electric motor need to be greased? There are some motors that have sealed, permanently greased bearings. These bearings are meant to last as long or longer than your motor with minimal maintenance. In this case, your motor won't require greasing as a regular maintenance practice. You will need to still check the health of the bearings on occasion as contamination can still occur. If caught early, the bearings can be replaced and the motor can still run effectively and efficiently for a long time. This typically applies to motors under 30 horsepower. If you have anything to add, if you have any questions, or you have a suggestion for another topic for us to cover, leave us a comment below. Make sure you like this video and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. I'm Keith with eMotors Direct, your source for industrial motors, gear reducers, controllers, and accessories across Canada. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.